Hola, hola, hola mis amigos, los creyentes del único Dios, a través del mensaje, el Crislam. Estoy aquí escuchando la música buena de México, de México. Hey, uh, how are y'all doing? How are y'all doing out there in Facebook land? I am hope you're all having a good, a good Monday. Praise God, praise God, glory be to God, Gloria a Dios siempre. I'm just kicking back, did some stretches earlier, ooh man, oh, gotta do some stretches man, when you're uh, when you practice Jiu Jitsu, fighting styles, like karate Jiu Jitsu, man you gotta be able to kick cuz, you gotta be, oh man, look at that man, somebody come up to you. Hey, what's up? What's up, punk? Bam! Freaking. Bam, man. Freaking. Freaking. Kick him right in the head, man. I'm serious. Now, but, you gotta watch out. That you just can't throw kicks recklessly because when you throw a kick, the only thing that's supporting you is one leg. So, what I like to do is someone's trying to kick at me, I just run, do a sweep, man. I just, whoosh, my foot comes out over here, okay, I guess. Whoosh, oh. I just sweep, basically I spin around, sweep them out from under and land right on their ass. Knock them right down. Or I come up in, inside of them, catch their foot, take my other leg, inside their leg, take down, right down on the ground. Freaking strike. Bam! I've done it before, dude. I've done it before. Anyways, glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm pumped up on uh, fighting and stuff. I'm uh, going to be talking to Ape Dan Sensei here soon. And get hooked up with some good instruction. Good instruction. Now, I've practiced martial arts. Informally for years. I've been in a lot of real real life fights and uh, let me tell you it's not pretty but every time you win you just a rush dude it's, it's addictive uh, I like bare fist fighting man just use your bare fist if you lose you get your face all knocked up but if you win oh man I ain't nothing to make you feel better than a bare fist fight over a fool who's talking crap bam bam but I can get the same thrill out of kickboxing. Uh, you know, you got some gloves on, you got some rules. I, I get a good thrill, that's a good solid competition, but but uh, you know, that life and death of uh, a real fight. And you don't know, this guy might pull out a knife. No, he might pull out a gun, you gotta freaking disarm him. Bam! Freaking knock the dude, knock the dude right, right through his freaking car window or something, you know? If you, Popping out of his car, talking crap to you. Freaking just knock him right through the windshield. He, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. That uh, I'm a true believer, and there's there's believers that are straight out pacifists. Well, glory be to God. You need to be protected by soldiers like me, cause I, I'm not gonna, I am never gonna hurt good people, dude. But uh, you know, I was in the army, and I've I've done rounds with, uh, I've been around the wrong side. Of, Side of the tracks, and I smashed people. I had to do it though, they deserve it anyway. Glory be to God! And uh, let's talk about a little bit of love. A new command I give you love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another by this. Everyone will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. That's John 13, verse 34 and 35. Now well, the second messenger is shame. 
Christ Jesus, when you, just, when you say Christ Jesus, now it becomes the name of God. Okay. What the second messenger, Prophet Jesus, is saying is that by becoming his disciples, you are following the message of God. The, the one who has sent him is God in Christianity. Father, change the word creator. Creator, creator. Allah has sent him, and, and he is sharing out the message that God is the most compassionate, the most merciful. Bismillah ir Rahman ir Rahim. And uh, just saying all the good stuff that, that you want to hear. And if you live good, then the power of God, I can see it. And you can see it too. And you can feel it. Oh, there's a good guy. I know him. And, and you feel it by, oh, he's solid. And you know he's with you. And you, you feel it. See, all our emotions come from thoughts. See, in the world of John, in paradise, it's all thought. It's infinite mind. I've spoken before. I am a mental monist. A mentalist monist sees all as omniscient power of mind. It all comes from your mind. And if you think good thoughts, then it manifests into your life and it comes from God. And when you think these good thoughts and you think right with it, then it just transfixes right through you in the physical universe, gives you direction, uh, and you become successful and you feel good emotions. Everything good comes from God. Everything. And I'm here to help you guys get there. I want you to become powerful. Yeah, I'm not here just to friggin' talk about how powerful I'm going to get. I mean, that, that's a fact. But, I'm only powerful through God. Power comes from God, remember that. False power, that ain't real power because eventually it's going to crumble and be destroyed. You choose God, He gives you direction, you, you start uh, becoming somebody. Becoming somebody great. And, and when you acquire the charisma that I desire to share with you because as I make you powerful I become more powerful God becomes more powerful within you you become more powerful when you likewise make other people powerful if you are part of the message join to the message and you will feel nothing but power you always feel powerful even when you're in the midst of the division and they're talking crap and, and you're just you know you just slough it all off but then they come right at you and who are you you're taking on this new message actually the message has always existed and i am the only the only apostle teaching you what has always existed my religion has existed forever none can match us none so feel superior once you're accepted but they're coming at you saying what are you doing to you all this um, just tell them to buzz off man tell them i don't need to hear none of you what you got to say because all you're going to do is say the same crap that i've read on uh Muslim versus Christian, Hindu versus whatever. It's all the same crap. It's nothing new. It's, Satan has the same old, same old nonsense. Oh, and, and it's always there to catch you up. How many times are you going to get caught in the spider web of BS? I'm here to break you free, man. I'm here to break you free out of man. Just grab a hold of you. Hold on, spider. You ain't going to eat this person. You ain't going to be another victim of your lies, Satan. You just set you free. Fly away, fly away. Be free, my little butterfly. Fly away. Volare. <laughs> I will fly. But anyways, none can stop the message as it gains momentum. You will see universal Islam become so powerful that it will just steamroll right over any opposition. God has decreed it is I and my messengers who must prevail, for God is one, full of strength, able to enforce his will. Awesome. Oh, that is strength. Quran 58 21. Nothing, nothing can ever beat the Lord. Ever. And don't ever, ever believe otherwise, because if you believe otherwise, then you've weakened your power. Keep your base strong 
And, and I, I will truly, truly be glad to see you be a part of the Colossus that will crush all opposition and stand tall as a monolith. Undefeatable. It will never be defeated. Never. Ever.